A moment of triumph and celebration more than 20 years in the making. A signal from deep space confirms the first ever landing of a spacecraft on a comet. Okay, so we are there and Fila is talking to us. Uh, first things he told us was that the harpoons have been fired, rewound, and the landing gear um, has been moved inside, so we are sitting on the surface. Later, it was revealed the harpoons used to fix it to the comet had failed to deploy. Unclear, though, what this would mean for the ongoing mission. You could trigger the harpoons by command, but uh, you first want to know what, uh, so to say, the status, how the lander is there, you don't want to fire them in the wrong moment. The release of the Philae lander came after a 10-year, 6 billion kilometre pursuit of the comet. Its landing was a technical and mathematical feat described as ridiculously difficult. For the hundreds of scientists working on this mission, the arrival of the Philae probe on the surface of the comet was a huge relief. But now there's uncertainty about whether the probe is actually attached to the rocks as it should be. They're also not sure whether it will be able to do the scientific testing, the sampling that they'd hoped it would. The lander has 10 scientific instruments on board and there are still hopes they'll be able to examine the rocks of the comet as it gradually warms during its approach to the sun. We have to land now while we're still quite far from the sun because we don't want the comet to be too active. That would be dangerous for us landing. Next year, we're going to see water flowing away, gas and all the other materials at much higher rates. The mission team's now examining the data from the lander and may try to trigger the harpoons manually. It's hoped this will mean it can start running tests and start sending the scientific data back to Earth. Scientists are still hopeful these images and chemical readings will give us clues into the origin and evolution of both the solar system and life on Earth. Tarek Basley, Al Jazeera, Darmstadt, Germany.